and Todd, Alan and Sharon, and David Hirschfeld and myself are over 30. This is a salient point here. And the album is fairly reflective, you know, it's just about talking about where we've been and what we're doing. Broken cars, old guitars, waiting here for the time to pass. Time takes its toll, it took it back. We decided to call it Bondi Road because he used to walk down the road every morning and have a cup of coffee. And it just seemed like, in a weird sort of way, as though all the songs came together and they were sort of reflective and as though in a weird sort of way we'd come back to doing the record here. Because this is where, even though Todd will never admit it, this is where we really started out. But where Dragon really started out was in New Zealand back in 1973. Their determination to succeed was their motivation. They've had nine albums and a string of hits that dominated the charts during the late 70s and early 80s. Their latest and greatest album is Bondi Road. Inspiration for this one, uh, where does that come from? You can't really say it all came from Bondi because some of these songs were written when we were in Europe on the Tina Turner tour. So it's just uh, the same with all songs, I guess. It's just come out of the air. I think they do come out of the air, really. Yeah. yeah people say, oh, I sat down and I wrote this song and it took me hours. But it's not like that because if you're... If your mind is in the right uh, receptive sort of attitude, songs just come, they come, they come through you rather than out of you. <laughs> I was reading in your press release, maybe I shouldn't have, that, um, that you've ignored the fads or stayed away from the fads and, yeah. and just stayed dragon. I guess how hard, is that, how hard has that been to ignore what's going on? We don't, we don't have much choice. We just sort of, we've never, never really been fashionable. We just kind of exist. Um, we, don't, yeah, we don't ignore what's we, happening. It's just that you don't try and be really fashionable this year because what happens is next year, the last year's fad. Yeah. Basically we're just liking pop music and trying to get better at writing it and trying to get better at performing it. That's really what we do. Is this then uh, the growing up of Dragon? Could be. <laughs> what a growing up. Thought. Yeah, it could be. Oh, no, maybe not. It's, it's just, this is the album we've done for this 18 month period. We do an album about every 18 months. And we do a tour about every 18 months, and that's about it. So what are the Dragon fans going to hear now that they didn't hear 15 years ago, say? It's, well, Dragon's just a really good pop band. We write really good pop songs, we always have. We grew up in a very small town. <laughs> we grew up in a really small town in Tamarulli, and the only sort of music we heard, the only pop music we heard was the Top 40 every Saturday night at about 9 o'clock at night. And Todd and I used to go and listen to it and think yeah. that's wonderful, you know. So the thing that we liked then is pop music and the thing we still like is pop music and we're actually getting better at doing it so people don't like pop music don't buy the record people like it get into it it's a masterpiece